I was at the grocery store the other day looking for a little snack to eat with my movie, and of course, I go and look for microwave popcorn. There's a massive problem here, though. What is with the butter options? I have extra butter, butter lovers, extreme butter, home style butter, simply salted, probably no butter, uh, kettle corn, and another movie theater butter. So, I got all of them, and right here, right now, I'm going to do I'm going to do a tier list so that you can be an informed consumer with which butter option is the best. Today I'm gonna to start with Orville Redenbacher. Um, you, you, you gotta have him. I'm Orville Redenbacher. If, you, if you're doing a microwave popcorn uh, tier list, you just have to have him. He's kind of a Colonel Sanders wannabe, you know? Like who would win in a fight, Orville Redenbacher or Colonel Sanders? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna go pop up these three bags and um, I'll be right back. I shouldn't look so disgusted. First up is Simply Salted. Here goes nothing. And this is four ounces of my Orville Redenbacher Gourmet Popping Corn. This is four ounces of your ordinary popping corn. That's popping okay, but look at mine, it's blowing the top. You know, this is this is the ultimate, we've got popcorn at home popcorn. You go, you go into the grocery store with your mom, you're like, Mom, can I, can I, can I get, can I get butters lovers? And she's like, no, we have popcorn at home. And that's what this is. It's either that or you are sad and on a diet. So, uh, not for me. That is an easy D tier. Miss me with that. That is disgusting. Number two, I thought I'd pick a weird one. We got Orville Redenbacher's uh, kettle corn. Define kettle. Here we go. Eh, it's not, okay, I've had like real kettle corn. I would never want to eat it during a movie. I'd eat it outside during fall time after I've had an apple or something. I don't know what, what venue I'd ever want to have a kettle corn in, and I don't know what's so kettle about this corn. It just has sugar on it instead of butter and salt, and to me, that's a kind of weird, and I just don't think that's what popcorn is, so. Um, I think I'll have to put this in C tier. Again, it's not disgusting. It's really not. It just is not, it's not what I think of, you know. I could see somebody liking it though. And number three of our last Orville Redenbacher, we have the movie theater butter. You see here, I'm making sure the butter gets on every single kernel before I really dig in. Here we go. Movie theaters have changed. You know, you don't just say, yeah, I want butter in my popcorn. They give you your popcorn and then you go put butter on it. So I think it's really hard to call this movie theater butter because who's movie theater butter? When I go to the movies and I butter it up, I butter it up good. Not like this. This is too mid for me. Why does Orville Redenbacher just assume that this is the median amount of butter that the average American puts on their popcorn? It's definitely good for your house though. Does it compare to movie theater popcorn? No. So for that, that's a, that's, that's a low B. That's a low B, you know? Nothing beats movie theater bu bu popcorn at all. Shout out Warren Redenbacher though. I, I do think this is the best one out of the three. All right. So our next brand, I'm gonna crack open the hidden vault of Pop Secret. Why is it secret? I have a feeling that Pop and Victoria are in cahoots. <laughs> oh gosh, bro. So I'm gonna go pop it up and I'll be right back. I want to know what they're keeping in that vault, and up next is Homestyle Butter. Bro, call me Nicolas Cage, because I'm going to unearth these secrets, like in National Treasure. Homestyle Butter, first one. Now, the big question that I'm here to answer is, what is the difference between Homestyle Butter and Movie Theater Butter? Ugh. Bro, this tastes like packing peanuts. Bro, homestyle butter is just simply salted, but I don't think there's any butter. There might just be a little oil or something. Bro, I don't know. This is homestyle butter, but if I was like a Puritan and I had to churn my own butter and I was too lazy, I just didn't make any butter. And then I was like, this is homestyle butter. And they're like, John, there's no butter. You didn't churn it. Get this out of here, dog. You. Up next, we have homestyle. Even worse than Simply Salted. That was rancid. We have movie theater butter though, from Pop Secret. We're gonna take a little crack. <laughs> F 
making sure every single kernel is coated with the proper amount of flavoring. I think I figured out Pop's secret. The secret is that they suck, and now it's not a secret. So you might as well change your company name to Pop because I've cracked this case. This is flavorless, rancid. I can't believe you call yourself movie theater popcorn. You've obviously never seen a movie, and if you wanted to see a movie, you should go see National Treasure because Nicolas Cage unearths way more secrets than you will ever keep. Moving on, we have Pop Secrets Extra Butter. Pop Secret, I, bro, I'm telling you, this better smack. Oh yeah, it does not smell healthy at all. And this is um, Pop Secrets Extra Butter. Oh, movie theater butter goes D tier. I'm, I'm sorry, Pop Secret. You just, you're not impressing me right now. I'm kind of mad. This is extra butter. Hold on. I gotta say, Orville Redenbacher is a very generous man because extra butter for Pop Secret is movie theater butter for Orville Redenbacher. You know, big shout out to him. The secret to Pop Secret is that they're cheap, they are frauds, and they will never sponsor me after this. Hold on, what is this? On Pop Secret's box, there's a bit of a clue. It says zero trans fat per serving, 100% whole grain. Made with non-GMO corn, no high fructose corn syrup, and no sugar added. No preservatives, flavors, or dyes. Bro, why did I get this? This is rancid. Pop Secret is a fraud. They use all natural ingredients, and for that reason, this is C tier. I'm just gonna set this down. I don't think it deserves to be tossed. It's trying its best. You know, the next two popcorns are popcorns that scare me a little bit, and I think that's a good thing. Here we have Butter Lovers by Act 2 and Extreme Butter by Act 2. Now, what what are the difference between these? The difference implies an insane reality that we would live in where the butter lovers do not want the extreme butter. Does that make sense? Like a butter lover would look at this and be, oh, I love butter. Let me get the lesser of the two butters. You know, I'm nervous. This is gonna be a big one. So we're gonna start with butter lovers. And right out the gate, just just with this popcorn, I'm telling you right now, if Butter Lovers doesn't have more butter than than Extreme Butter, then all of their legitimacy as a butter loving syndicate is absolutely thrown out the window. I'm gonna give it a nice shake even before I take the first bite. Here we go. All right. Mmm. I'm gonna hold off on grating it. So I just tried Butter Lovers. Now we're moving on to extreme butter. Now, if there's a butter lover out there that doesn't want extreme butter, then God have mercy on their souls. Mmm. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This has substantially more butter than Butter Lovers. Mmm, but Butter Lovers is way better than movie theater Orville Redenbacher butter. After careful consideration, so my grade would go Butter Lovers as an A by principle because they don't love the extreme butter. So how could they truly be Butter Lovers? And extreme butter at S tier being the best popcorn now Obviously, the skew, the skew on this tier list is way off. And that's because it's truthful, and sometimes the truth doesn't make sense. Yo, maybe that's the pop secret, is that the butter lovers are frauds. Yikes, dude. The winner of this tier list is Extreme Butter. I mean, it, dude, it's in the title, Extreme Butter. You're not gonna get a firework that says old dusty fart. You're gonna get the firework that says like rage induced coma. I don't want the popcorn that says homestyle butter. I want the popcorn that says extreme butter. So here is the final tier list. Let me know if you agree or not in the comments. Uh, honestly, come prepared to disagree with me because I just tried all eight popcorns in succession. And if you think I missed one, please let me know because this is an ongoing research project I'll be willing to add to the tier list. Anyways, that's all I have for everybody today. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, then I think you should still subscribe because there's probably something in the future you will like later down the line. So yeah, I don't know, that's all I have. Bye. Yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Yeah, I just hit on Mikey for the juice. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long as
it's hard to lose. Okay, yeah, be my source. Uh. 